G'day, Josh here, and we have had a huge update hit Call of Duty Mobile. You can see that the first screen here is showing you how to go into your uh, your App Store, whether it's the Google App Store or the Apple App Store, and update the app. And let's work backwards through each section here and talk about what has been already introduced into the game and what is coming, because at the time of recording this video, there is roughly a day and a half left of the Season 2 Battle Pass, so make sure to finish as much of that off as possible before Season 3 does officially kick off. But a lot of the stuff that we will be looking at here is already in the game, has been for about two days now, and I've been uh, enjoying it. Uh, that's to put it mildly, it's been uh, it's been pretty fun. So the first thing here is update and earn rewards. Join us in the new season, and you're seeing a few things there that you will you'll get those simply by updating. Uh, so go ahead and claim those the most significant is the throwing axe as you can actually run that as your grenade as your primary grenade instead of a frag or a sticky or a trip mine and it actually gives you the ability to throw uh, an axe which you can then go and retrieve you can actually pick it up and throw it again just like in uh, the the uh, sticks and stones mode I think it's called where there is only knives and throwing axes uh, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that, trying to get uh, throwing axe kills in the final kill cam. Uh, then we move on to the Season 3 Battle Pass information, so Phantom Strike, lowered price, still amazing value. So uh, as far as I'm aware, it's going to be about 50% uh, as, uh, as long to complete the Battle Pass, so I assume that just means at Tier 50 you get the ultimate prize as opposed to Tier 100, and it will be cheaper to compensate as well. I don't know whether it's just going to be a one-month pass or whether it still will be a two-month pass. We will have to wait and see, uh, but I'm thinking maybe it might also be a shorter pass and they will be updated more regularly, which means uh, more content in the game, so I'm certainly okay with that. Then we get into the new multiplayer mode that is already in the game called Rapid Fire. Uh, I've, I've spent some time in it. I think that there might need to be some score streaks banned in this mode, predominantly VTOL and also the um, Stealth Chopper, because those two score streaks are... You basically spend half the time with an RPG out shooting them down because it's incredibly frustrating, especially on certain maps where there's just a VTOL up and you just spawn and die and you get one shot off from your RPG before you die. It's just so hopefully they address that situation. But aside from that, aside from those score streaks being a little bit busted in rapid fire mode, it is very, very fun. Uh, then we've also got the new multiplayer map. Now, this is not a new map to the Call of Duty franchise. It's new to Call of Duty Mobile. This map has a very special place in my heart, as it does for many people. This is uh, one of the best maps from Modern Warfare 2, although that Call of Duty title had a lot of incredible maps, and I'm hoping we see more of them make their way to mobile, but this particular one was really, really fun, and I've been loving playing this uh, the Scrapyard map. It's a random mode, and it's usually queuing up with a few bots, which isn't ideal, but having the ability to play Scrapyard on my mobile is so, so awesome. Then we get to All Out War, I think it's called, 20v20 in Battle Royale. Um, it's fun, but it's kind of just hectic and crazy in the final circle. Uh, so I don't know whether there needs to be some more alt uh, optimizations made there. It reminds me a lot of uh, whatever the equivalent war mode was in PUBG Mobile, but uh, it's fun. It definitely is fun, and you don't you, you don't have to play your life because if you die, you respawn, you, you drop back in. Uh, so it's, it's really decent. And now we get to the full patch notes, so we will go through these and uh, we'll get a full breakdown of everything that has changed, everything that's being added, and uh, things like that. So starting off with what's new, new content will be released throughout the new season. Please visit our social media for complete notes. Season 3 update is live. A brand new rank season is now available, although that's not entirely accurate because the ranks haven't reset yet, so ignore that for now. But there will be new rank rewards, including Black Ops 3 weapons, Yellow Snake series, and more. Ranked improvements, uh, one of which I saw on Reddit, if you actually quit a ranked mode, you will be timed out from joining ranked for a little period of time to prevent you from abusing that. Obviously, you still lose rank points when you uh, force quit like that as well. Updated user interface, 
improve matchmaking balance, increase penalty for frequently quitting. There we go. Uh, reduce point deduction for losses below master. Hijacked map has been removed from ranked, which is good because it was kind of being abused. There was a few glitches that made it not very fun to play certain game modes in ranked. Domination single round score adjusted to 75, so it's a slightly longer game mode, which is nice. Uh, the, obviously, there's two halves in domination, so the full end game score will be 150 now instead of 100. Team deathmatch score adjusted to 50 in ranked instead of 4. 40, so it will also be a little bit longer. Then the Battle Pass, new premium and free Battle Pass rewards. Premium Battle Pass price has been lowered. Oh, here we go. So Battle Pass tiers has been reduced to 50. High value content has remained. So uh, I'm hoping that the price is also halved because if we're getting half the tiers and if it's possibly lasting half as long, then hopefully it also costs half as much, but we'll wait and see there. Uh, multiplayer, new limited time mode. Uh, which was, and I totally blanked on what it was called. Well, uh, <laughs> Rapid Fire, that's it. Did it say that in the patch notes? It said Ultra Fire. That's what threw me off. Ultra Fire. It's called Rapid Fire. Faster score streaks, short operator skill cooldowns, unlimited ammo, uh, which is particularly good when you want to use your rocket launcher to shoot down the airborne score streaks. New maps, Scrapyard. Uh, and there is also a new zombie map, which we will get to as well. Oh, Cage is also coming. Uh, it hasn't arrived just yet, but there will be the new Cage map as well. Uh, and you can see that the modes that they are available in. I don't think Cage is... Actually, I'm going to have to go in and check. I don't think Cage is available yet. Team Deathmatch and Sniper Only. Sniper Only isn't currently in the rotation, but I will check Team Deathmatch once you've read through these just to see if Cage is actually in-game yet. I might have missed that. Battle Royale, time and space have distorted and will soon reveal a new battle area. Uh, so I assume that's kind of going to be like the Fortnite seasons, but we'll have to wait and see there. New limited time Battle Royale mode, which is All Out War, the 20v20 mode. Fast-paced, objective-based mode that brings multiplayer mechanics to Battle Royale. New vehicle, a motorbike. It's kind of fun. Pretty uh, slow turning circle, but it's nice and fast in a straight line. And a new Battle Royale class coming soon, which is... Uh, I believe it's like a trip. You set up like a, an electronic tripwire and anyone that runs through it will be slowed for a period of time. Uh, then just general maintenance stuff. Uh, Call of Duty account login now. And if you do link your account, you will get a free skin. So definitely make sure to link your Call of Duty account if you already have one. Uh, controls have added three new sensitivity modes and shotgun firing in control settings. New operator skill, the Hive in combat, which is uh, kind of like shooting trip mines in a way. Uh, new operator skill that kills enemies with the use of traps. So there we go. It doesn't give, you, doesn't give you a lot of detail, but it's kind of like having multiple trip mines you can use. Uh, new score streak, the XS1 Goliath, which is a robot that drops out of the sky and you can climb into. Uh, and you get super tanky and you're just roaming around in a giant robot killing people. Uh, unlock the devastating score streak at 900 points. And then improvements and optimizations. So multiplayer team deathmatch is now unlocked at level three. Return of takeoff and raid multiplayer maps. Fix the wall geometry on certain maps. Added warning and death for leaving combat zone. Increased damage taken from falls. Added mechanism of climbing down the ladder. I'm not going to lie, that's sometimes a little bit frustrating. Now, there's certain spots that I like to head glitch, and now I kind of have to approach. If there's a ladder that you've just climbed up to get there, and you want to get back to that little wall, you have to approach it zoomed in or scoped in already so you don't automatically just start climbing down the ladder. So it'd be nice if there was a setting to actually turn that off. But anyway, slightly reduced recoil uh, stability of Type 25, AK-117, and MSMC, which are the three most broken guns in the game, so I'm not surprised to see that at all. Increased recoil control of AK-47, LK-24, ICR, ASM-10, and HD-40, which... All of those, with exception of the HD-40, were decent guns, but didn't see a lot of play. Nerf the SMRS or the rocket launcher, the S36, and magazine capacity of MSMC. So once again, dealing with uh, some pretty potent weapons there. Check complete details of weapon balancing adjustments on Reddit. Then Battle Royale, improved shipment and countdown location layouts. Improved sound effects in cold areas. Added additional strategic zip lines. 
increased damage drop off of SMRS rockets at longer distances. Uh, that'll probably be most noticeable in the sniper only version of Battle Royale, as there was definitely some uh, some rocket launcher cheese that would happen in that mode. Reduced movement speed while actively using SMRS. Improved helicopter collision mechanics with environment. Airdrops always contain level three body armor. Deploying transform shield releases a high pressure air blast that affects incoming bullet trajectory, uh, as well as additional random improvements. And then finally, some system and client changes as well. So slightly increased strength of controller aim assist on multiplayer and battle royale. I play using touch, so it won't affect me or any of the lobbies that I'm in as controllers do queue up with their own lobbies, unless I happen to queue with someone in my uh, lobby that is using a controller. Multiplayer Arthur Action Report UI improvements for final scores and team MVPs. Improved experience bonus from certain modes. Reporting cheaters may generate a follow-up on actions taken. That's very, very nice. Fallen players can ping teammates to retrieve or use dog tags in Battle Royale. I don't often play that with randoms in squads, but that is a very useful feature. Primary and secondary weapons can be switched during match countdown. Yes, I love that and improved quick team up option in lobby. So that is it there. Now, what I want to do is just jump into the multiplayer section and see if we do have the new cage map under team deathmatch, whether that still is coming as you see my uh, my bedtime reminder there. It is 11 p.m. here. So I have to think about going to bed soon. Now, let's jump out here. We're going to multiplayer. We are going to court. Team Deathmatch, and do I have the ability to choose the cage map? I'm not seeing it. No, not yet. So hopefully very, very soon. And I'm guessing it will probably be in a couple of days when Season 2 does wrap up. So let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited for out of what has already been implemented or what is coming in Season 3 and uh, what you think of all the new game modes as well. I've been loving the Scrapyard Map Edition. That's probably my personal favourite at this point in time. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of content so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'll see you next time.